Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we are jumping back into the Autumn Festival playlist to take on this week's PR stunt, Drift Zone, Cara Este. We've already covered Punta Allen and the La Mesa Danger Sign. Links to those two videos are in the description and in the comments below. But like I say, we are focusing on this week's Drift Zone, and this seems to be the one that people are struggling with most. It goes the whole length of the Caldera. We are in S2, non on eight, anything goes, but the Storm Season objective is 1 million points. 500,000 points more than the three star objective. Which, unless you are Ken Block or fairly used to drifting in Forza Horizon 5, I think is a little unfair. I personally enjoy the challenge of drifting, but I know there's some people out there that simply just don't either like drifting or have never learned how. However, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and the tools you need to get this week's Drift Zone completed. So if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing, smashing the like button, sharing the video with a friend always helps. Without further ado, let's jump into this week's Drift Zone. Now, like I say, this week's Drift Zone PR stunt is S2998, so any car in S2 will do you absolutely fine. I'm jumping in the Formula Drift Ferrari 599 GTB Farino, 500,000 credits from the Auto Show. The tune that I'm using in today's video is up for download. Just search my game tag Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube. Share codes for all tunes are in the description and in the comments below. Now, a top tip to make things a lot easier when getting this drift zone completed is to hop into your pause menu, head into the settings menu, head into difficulty and turn off traction control and stability control. You'll find your car a lot easier to slide with these two settings off. And it's not essential, but it will make life a little bit easier if you can use manual drifting. If you're using automatic, that's absolutely fine. It is your choice, but manual will make things a lot easier. Here we go then, a million points from the Cara Este Drift Zone. Keep in mind that speed and angle are your friend. The faster you're going with the more angle you have, the more points you're going to accrue quickly. Try not to worry too much about speed and angle though. Keeping it on the road, keeping it within the drift zone, keeping those points consistently coming in and you'll soon hit that 1 million point objective. But like I say, if you're not used to drifting, you don't do it an awful lot in Forza Horizon 5, this is going to be a slight struggle. So expect to do a few runs before you hit that 1 million point objective. I'm going to leave you guys with the run that I'm currently on and I will catch you at the end of the video.
And there we go, the Drift Zone Cara Este completed. As you can see from my run, it wasn't a perfect run. I do leave the road a couple of times. We do hit some barriers. We don't get some points consistently, but we do manage to get over a million points. Like I say, this one is a tough one. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new, definitely consider subscribing. Smash the like button, share the video with a mate, stay safe, and have an awesome day. Okay.